Well, hi, it's me, Pinky, and I am coming in after almost another week of missing out on blogs. I was just so busy this week, and uh, I had a crazy week, a crazy turmoil week. Um, and then trying to get ready for Olivia's party and stuff was a little bit stressful. It was quite stressful, actually. It ended up being a great party. The kids had a great time, um, but it whooped my butt. I don't mind saying I'm getting too old for that stuff. <laughs> I just am. We're going to head out here to the back porch real quick. I uh, had the house to myself this afternoon for a little while. Then my husband's going to the ranch and taking my son. So the boys will be gone. Oh, God. The flies are in the house by the back door here. We are just suffering with these flies. I just can't believe it. I have never in my whole life seen the fly infestation that we've got this year, and it is just horrific. And it's, I have mentioned it numerous times, it's all over the place. Everybody in the state is just completely um, infested with a house fly, horse flies, you know. Oh, God, it's a beautiful day today, but it has been cold a few days. It's been free. Oof. It's been freezing cold. Um, during the day, the wind was brutal, and um, it, I don't think it got over 40 degrees yesterday. Uh, the day before was very much like that. Halloween was very cold. Um, and it's just, it's, you know, it's the fall. It's just the way it is in the desert, and it gets very, very cold during the, the night, usually in the summer and in the fall. But the days are starting to turn off quite cold some good news on my daughter. She has moved over into regular population and she is no longer in segregation, which was um, beginning to wear on her spirit quite heavily. Uh, being in protective custody is the same thing as being in the hole. There's no difference. It's the sa it, Being protected, protective custody is the same thing as getting in trouble and getting thrown in the hole and never knowing when you're going to get out. <laughs> And it is 23.75 hours a day of isolation. So after about three months of that, she's had about enough of it and had uh, asked a couple of weeks ago to get moved over. And it took them a while, but they finally got her moved this week. Uh, the first day was a little traumatic. I think she was a little bit shell-shocked from the isolation. And um, she was uh, quite um, fragile brittle, very brittle, very fragile, uh, but she, she's better off. God, you know what? I hate this hair. I am so pissed at myself. If I ever say I'm going to cut my hair again, every one of you holler at me and tell me don't do it, um, though I'm happy because it's growing out very healthy. Look at this tiny little kitty. Let's see if we can get, I never can tell where the lens is at. I think it's right there. He's so cute, so tiny, little tiny, tiny guy. Um, so anyway, she's over there, which is good because she is free to roam around for most of the day. Um, you know, they're in pods, and um, and she can use the phone a, a good portion of the day. I've got to call and get some phone money on there. Um, the, her boyfriend is in jail now, and um, so he's of no help to me whatsoever. Uh, as a matter of fact, now he's needing assistance, you know, which... Um, you won't be getting any from me, probably. I, you know, I might try to help the kid out with some foam mini or some envelopes or something, but that's going to be the size of it. Um, just because uh, this is ridiculous. Oh, God, see? They're everywhere. They're in the house. They crawl on you. They are getting on your face while you're trying to sleep. It's just disgusting. I have tried every type of homemade fly trap. Every type of um, fly strip, everything. Oh, here's another one of those little kitties. They're so cute and tidy. Hi, kitty. Hi. Hi, bear. What you doing? All dirty. They're always all dirty because they get under this porch right here. Yes, Miss Princess is here. I got the dogs, <clears throat> all three of the Chihuahua dogs, um, Gunther, Moxie, and Princess new uh, sweaters yesterday and it was hysterical um princess loves her sweater she 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 liked it and moxie liked hers but gunther 
it just about went through the roof and then he hid under the bed most of the day then when I tried to take it off he thought I was trying to assault him and uh, I just grabbed the collar and when he ran it pulled it off you know but he wanted it off so bad he was so humiliated and so mad at me it was funny I wished I had a video of it because he was acting ridiculous he, he was acting like I was trying to kill him and all I was doing was you know putting a little sweater on <laughs> Poor dogs, I, you know, they just have to tolerate our idiocy. So that's about the size of it. Let's see, anything else exciting going on? Not that I can think of. I am anxious to start packing away the um, Halloween decorations and start getting out the Christmas stuff and sorting it out. I know a lot of people don't like to do it as early as I put them up, but I like... I, I really like to have at least part of my Christmas decorations up by Thanksgiving. I really used to always put them up between November 1st and November 15th and have everything up by then. But um, I, God, but the, but I, don't, I don't do that now, but I do try to at least have, um, I like to have the tree up by Thanksgiving or some of the like stuff on the tables and whatnot. My neighbor's standing over there watching me talk to myself. They all think I'm a nut. Well, I don't care. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm going to be working on that. And because I have all that stuff stored in the house, and um, I've cleaned out a little shed over here by the horse trough and stuff, and uh, I'm going to put that stuff in plastic bins and then cover it in tarps, you know, so that the water doesn't have no way to get to it. But there's just too much of that crap in the house, in boxes and stuff. It's taking up too much room in my closet room, in my, uh, you know, dressing area where I have all my, all my girly stuff and my clothes and all that stuff. So I want that junk out of there. I did a lot, a lot of sorting and put stuff away this week and, um, even over there on that pool table where my husband hoards all of his crapola, I um, I broke rules and got in that stuff and put some in boxes and whatnot. He was a little bit irritated with me, but I didn't give a shit. I'm so sick of his crap everywhere. Oh God, I, you know, it just that is one thing that I have had a very very difficult time adjusting to. Um, because I am a very tidy person. I'm very organized, and I like things organized. And I don't care if you have 150 million items. I don't care. You can have as many items as you want. I, I don't care. If you want a gigantic, um, you know, footprint, um, that's fine with me. But, um, you know, keep it together. Keep it organized and keep stuff where it belongs. And, and uh, your tools don't belong in my dining room. And your... Um, uh, grease guns don't belong under my kitchen sink and things like that you know I'm just very I have a lot of belongings I'm the first one to admit that I will hoard till the day I die uh, uh, but I can because I'm organized so uh, you know you're when you're organized you're a collector when you are disorganized and yucky you're a hoarder period that's the that's the line for me and uh, he is definitely um, more on the hoarder side. <laughs> I'm more the collector and much more organized and like I said and just like things in a certain way and I don't like to have to clean 24 hours a day or organize crap 24 hours a day. I want the stuff to have a home. I want you to put it there and I don't want to have to tell you again and it gets me really really irritated. It, it just seems like such a um, you know, organization is such a common sense thing. It's like, like things with like things. If you do that, your life is in order, you know. You don't have the chaos of all the, of all the detritus everywhere, <laughs> um, you know. And it, see, they're just bombarding me when I open the door. I'm so fed up with them. I can't wait until it freezes. Come on. Coming in, princess. But you know, to not have it organized, then it you you you're over the line. You're you're you know, you, it makes your life miserable because all you do is spend time looking for stuff. You know, when if if it's all organized, like I said, I don't care if you want to keep 150 pots and pans and you know 87 uh, uh, screwdrivers. I really don't give a shit. Just keep all your screwdrivers <clears throat> with your screwdrivers and your 150 pans. You know.
And once all the stuff has, it, it, you know, it, taken over, it's because you, you, you've got to get rid of some stuff. That's just it. You can't keep everything. And you have to keep it organized, you know? Anyway, that's it. Ten minutes and ten seconds, <clears throat> I think, is plenty. I'm going to run out of room because I don't have much memory left on my... Um, camera right now either I have a bunch of pictures and stuff I need to do something with all right well everybody have a great day and peace you know I love you and uh, I am still looking for that Romeo and Juliet book you wouldn't think it'd be so hard I guess I'm just gonna have to order one I think they're probably what about five bucks I may as well just order one because I really want to get to reading that although I think I might be really over zealous in thinking that I can read Shakespeare, but we'll see. All right. Love you. Bye.